Hello, hello, all you people out there in internet land. This is us, Fat and Angry. And today we're going to be playing Cards Against Humanity again. We have myself, Angry, we have Fats, we have Short, we have Gonzo, and we have Toss. And so now that we've all drawn our cards, let us begin. Toss, your turn. My turn? Yes, your turn. You just supposed to tell me to start it. Start Zane, then. Zane is my turn <laughs> saying that somebody else went right before me. <laughs> Smart ass. Whatever. Anyway. That's what this game's about. True. 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 <laughs> Anyways. I like bacon. It smells like flammable gas in here. So, <laughs> uh, but before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you. Oh. 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 Ugh. Ugh. I must show you Andre the Giant's giant leathery <laughs> ball set. If anyone has that card. <laughs> or Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Man, I wish I could remember the, the sound of that music that plays when he does that creepy ass dance at the end of the movie. Mm. What do you mean by creepy? That was or, not creepy. That was, here I am, but you're singing telegram. <laughs> I thought it was a bit unsettling. The clown. No, but that's also because you liked the movie. Fast and... He uh, I kind of like it, but yeah. Okay, you cannot tell me that movie wasn't good. You know why it was good? It was okay. Because it was more, it took less liberties from the book than the original movie did. Oh, so so there was the hidden child, there was the child orgy scene? I, I didn't know that. that. You know this. they are never going to put that in the film. <laughs> I, I honestly hate people bringing that one up. <laughs> Yeah, because nobody's going to let that slide. Yeah, nobody. Not even Stephen King's going to let it slide. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're on a shitload of coke. <laughs> yeah, he had a real big drug problem. He was like Scarface levels of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that dude's still alive. Yeah, just a matter of time. <laughs> or maybe the maybe he's like Ozzy Osbourne and the cocaine just made him stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is that everybody's card? That's everybody's so. card. Yep. Alright. But before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Oh, he's Yum. just going to take his time eating. Or... <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to buy time with that diarrhea afterwards. God, have you ever eaten at Super Salad? No, yeah. I never have. It's unlimited it's, diarrhea. It's, yeah, it's like, you know. Is that just as bad as Taco Hell? No, actually, Words. Taco Bell's a lot better. Really? Yeah. Well, I, think I, I willingly will go to Taco Bell for food. So before I kill I you, Mr. Bond, I must show you snorting coke off a clown's boner. Are you making him do it, or is he going to do it in front of you? I don't know which would be more Probably disturbing. making Bond do it. No, I feel like he'd do it. He's like, no. let me show you how to do it, Mr. He's, Bond. Yeah. Go, now you do it. Do it! Do it, <laughs> slut! I do cocaine! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that was no surprise. Cocaine's hell of a drug. <laughs> Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you a, a murder most foul. I thought that was what he was about to commit on him. Right. <laughs> Before I kill you, I'm going to show you me killing someone else. And that no, is how no, no, I'm no, going no, to no, kill no. you. What, what if he's like he's just taken him to like his murder, his like gore pit? It's just filled with like swimming blood sharks. Or he could just be like Doctor Evil and have sharks with lasers on their freaking heads. Or maybe he's just got a chicken named Murder. I, that's probably. <laughs> that's just as good. Oh, you laughed a little bit. <laughs> There's a chuckle. A chortle, if you will. <laughs> Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you some sort of Asian. For some sort of reason. Well, it's probably going to make Bond one a fucker. Is it, it going to be an odd job? <laughs> so, I mean... I, I gotta go with snorting coke off the clowns of Bond. That's a hard one to beat. Compared that to the others... To Gonzo. Yeah, no... This might be my night. I thought a little bit of soup <laughs> salad and yeah, breadsticks was funny. <laughs> okay. Are we doing two first? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do two first. I'm just asking because it's not a two first, I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> In the newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from blank. The 
himself. <laughs> what was it? In the newest and most difficult <laughs> stunt, David Blaine must escape from blank. Is this a cartoon? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a great card. Man, I wish I, I wish I had this card. Is it all five? Four. There's four. God. We're trying to fuck with me is what he's trying to do. Yeah, I got it. That's why I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, I got it too. I was just being you. I no. Got you. No. Brutist! Yeah. You said four when he said four. You did. Does it fucking matter? I'm gonna throw a dinosaur at you. At who? He'll he has one. He'll do it too. That's I've weird. been hit with worse from you. You used to like throw me full speed into the pool. I think yeah, this will hurt more. Pool. <laughs> and yet you always came back. <laughs> you didn't throw hard enough. I know. In the newest and most difficult stunt, David Blade must escape from. Nickelback. That's actually pretty scary. Many have tried. Few have succeeded. In the newest and most difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from getting caught by the police going to jail. Well, you know, finally all those child porn charges catching up to him. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. In yeah, the newest the and most response. difficult stunt, David Blaine must escape from running out semen. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eventuality. It's going to happen. <laughs> Just the fact that he's trying to escape and he's... Well, they might not be doing it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, is he just not having sex? Because then he can escape it for a long fucking time. And this... In his newest and most difficult stunt, David Blade must escape from another shot of morphine. Does he have a does he have a drug problem? Oh, well, he's got a child pornography problem, so I'm pretty sure well, the drug he problem comes. Yeah, child pornography problem. I don't know. I'm just assuming. <laughs> he kind of looks like he, like you know, he he's mm -hmm. got a bunch of that shit and is like, like All right, his storage who's hard running out of semen. <laughs> that one goes semen? to fats. Hoorah! All right. That, that shorts is up next, or shorty. Short stack. Tall if you shorts. can't handle blank, you better stay away from blank. Uh, two for. Yeah, how, we gonna, how are you gonna read them? Uh, I read bottom first. Uh, All right. Top second. Bottom first, top second. What right, was the card again? So if you can't handle blank, you better stay away from blank. If you yeah, can't handle. I have no idea. Setting my balls on fire in Cartwheel in Ohio, you better stay away from a micro penis. If you can't handle crumbs all over the goddamn carpet, you'd better stay away from expecting a burping vomiting on the floor. Makes so, sense. If you can't handle a gentle caress of the inner thigh, you better stay away from carnies. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's too fun. Fucked up, that's man. That's too honest, but it's funny. <laughs> too real. I don't know if that's a gentle caress or like a straight up mugging. A gentle With cur like a little bit of a happy ending at a, the end. A gentle caress <laughs> with his lobster hands. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't handle kale, you better stay away from edible underpants. Who was the uh, who was the gentle caress of the inner thigh? That would be me. <laughs> You've, you've had experience with carnies before? No, I've just heard a lot of stories. <laughs> <sighs> All right, facts, what you got? In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure blank for all eternity. Okay. It wouldn't have been better, but it still would have been funny. <laughs> all right. In the seventh circle of hell... Sinners must endure getting in her pants politely for all eternity. <laughs> it's big ass pants. It's going to take you a while. In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure getting hilariously gang banged by the Blue Man Group <laughs> for all eternity. That does sound like a punishment. 
In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure slowly easing down onto a cucumber for all eternity. <laughs> wow. That's some cucumber if it takes that long. Damn. In the seventh circle of hell, sinners must endure fucking a corpse back to life for all eternity. You really can, which is why it takes all of eternity. <laughs> well, I think that one sounds the most horrifying. Who was that? Which one? Fucking a corpse back to life. That one goes to Gonzo. <laughs> Damn. All right. I don't like the blue man group. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the, I thought the cucumber one was good, but uh, mm-hmm. obviously the competition was too stiff. <laughs> but I'm Tish. <laughs> Fun tip. When your man asks to go down on him, try surprising him with blank instead. Anyway, fun tip. When your man asks to go down on him, try surprising him with an ugly face instead. <laughs> that kind of goes with the card pretty well. When your man asks to go down on him, try surprising him with an unrelenting genital punishment instead. <laughs> so, Ow. like, you know, she's going to go down on you, and then she just takes out a fucking mace and a cat of nine tails and goes ape shit on your junk. <laughs> Some people are into that. Just drop me some Tabasco sauce. Break or like get in the funnel and then pouring uh, in a whole bottle of the stuff. Uh, oh, oh, do it with like a sounding rod and then... Oh, you... <laughs> God! What is wrong with wow. you? Wow! You shouldn't even know what that is at your No age. shit! I'm not that oh. young. You can blame him. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Fun That's tip. Still... When your man has to go down and try surprising him with cock instead. I'm sure that's a little too real for some people. Are, are we in Thailand? Hey, baby. It's a fucking trap. Hey baby, how about a BJ? You first, dear. <laughs> Fun tip. When your man has to go down and try surprising him with a bioengineered assault turtles with acid breath instead. <laughs> bioengineered assault turtles with acid breath. I didn't even know that card was in there. <laughs> you got a lot of cards, man. You it's probably the first haven't gone through all of them. No, it was, I pulled out realms huh? last year. Did you? Yeah, not this one. Last year's. I'm gonna go with the unrelenting genital punishment. No, and Toss wins that one. You sick, sick bastard. It wasn't bad up until you know I said sounding rod funnel. No, him, not you. Oh no! It wasn't this bad up until I said that. I was cock. <laughs> I was turtle. I like turtle. The Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on blink. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that reminds me. I've got one of books. your uh, cards got left. <laughs> You want to get hot? Tell you the worst. You're the worst character ever. No, want to get hot? <laughs> <laughs> so, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on fifty thousand volts straight to the nipples. It's mandatory. You don't get the option of saying no. <laughs> wow, that would be a hell of an exhibit. That would be. Especially if it's like, you know, just a wizard with two, like, stabs. <laughs> no, there's just like, there's just like a 350 pound, very hairy Turkish man with like jumper cables just waiting there. <laughs> Attendance is mandatory. You come here now. He, he kind of looks like a wizard. <laughs> He's got That's the wizard the beard. Hats. The Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on throwing a virgin into a volcano. <laughs> yeah, where some people get to be part of the exhibit. So which part is the interactive part? The throwing or it the de- virgin? I guess it depends on, like, you know, your... If you're a virgin your, or not. Yeah. <laughs> where do you follow the volcano? It might just be a fake one, but still, it's probably like uncomfortable to get tossed down into a into a pit. What if it was like a giant pit of like baking soda, and then they had like a bucket full of vinegar, vinegar, and 
<laughs> Better keep your eyes and mouth closed. <laughs> oh, we get tossed down there with goggles. <laughs> <laughs> This, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on dying of dysentery. <laughs> it's Ow. interactive, so like you know, be sure to sign your waivers because not all <laughs> no the kids shit. will be coming back from that field trip. Somebody really liked Oregon Trail. <laughs> that, that sounds like a pretty shitty exhibit, though. <laughs> It's just like, you know, you get injected with a needle as you're walking into the museum, and once you get to that exhibit, it's like some of you are injected with, like, you know, a placebo. Some of you will be taking part of this exhibit. <laughs> Poor janitor having to mop up all that liquid shit. <laughs> 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 <I'm just> dying. <laughs> oh, man, they better build a drain in that motherfucker. <clears throat> I did not get paid enough for this. <laughs> and the last one. The, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on enormous Scandinavian women. Well, at least it's interactive. Yes. <laughs> snoo, snoo. <laughs> um, damn. That was a lot of good ones. But I think it's dysentery. Yep. <laughs> dysentery. <laughs> of course, that one's yes, fast. bastard. <laughs> Alright, Gonzo, your turn. Heed my voice, mortals. I am the god of blank, and I will not tolerate blank. How are you going to read it? Bottom first, top second. Heed my voice, mortals. I am the god of... Hipsters, and I will not tolerate Western standards. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. That shit's a little bit too real. Yeah. <laughs> Heed my voices, mortals. I am the god of concealing a boner, and I will not tolerate genuine human connection. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's the god I'm of high right. school right there. <laughs> well, we already know which one's gonna win. Heed my voice, is mortals. I am the god of a botched circumcision. <laughs> I will not Take finger. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that circumcision went wrong. <laughs> How bad does a circumcision have to go for you to get dick fingers? <laughs> Pretty bad. Did you? Well, uh, you know, maybe. Have you just been like, has it just kept piling up all like on on maybe, maybe all the foreskin maybe it's, on your fingers? Maybe it's like Cheeto crumbs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they just get under your fingernails until you get dick fingers. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This is what happens when you don't clean your fingernails. Remember, boys and girls, good hygiene is important. Heed my voice is mortals. I am the god of take backsies, and I will not tolerate Bosnian chicken farmers. And trust? <laughs> I don't know, man. These three are too fucking good. This is throwaway. This is someone's throwaway right here. I am going with by circumcision and and dick fingers. Who is that? That was me. That one I, goes to, to toss. Completely honest. Likewise. You read, read it backwards. Yeah, you read them all backwards. All of them. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> mine was <laughs> actually funnier backwards. <laughs> I, was, I mean, mine were both ways. <laughs> like, but I, you read. You read mine correctly. <laughs> you read. Like, like you like. No, I read the bottoms first. Oh, but you I, turned them around and that's then. Right, yeah, I mean, Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, but still, it didn't matter. Whichever way I did that, um, Tasha's one. Yeah, mine, mine was uh, the uh, god of concealing a boner. I thought that one was going to win for sure. <laughs> it, was, it was meant to be the god of <laughs> the genuine human connection, and he wouldn't tolerate concealing a boner. But uh, damn, backwards. That was... Mine was 
It was supposed to be, I'm the god of Bosnia and chicken farmers, and I won't handle... I don't... I won't tolerate... Uh, I won't tolerate... Take backsies. Take backsies. <laughs> I see that. All right. Well, it is. Yeah. It is your go, Piggy Filth Boy Child. Grab a card. <laughs> After months of practice with blank, I think I'm finally ready for blank. Bottom one first. Yeah. Like legit bottom one. <laughs> yes, I will read them properly. <laughs> well, that's what I get for flipping them around. I should just. <laughs> well, no, like I, I flipped, I, I flipped them around. Like I grabbed both cards and I flipped them. So I read the bottom one first, and I read the top one second. And that's, that's also why I, I put them between my you fingers. You flipped them, and then switched them, and then read them. <laughs> okay. After months of practice with pooping back and forth forever, I think I'm finally ready for making a friend. That sounds like a really sad existence. <laughs> all, all, all together, all around, just... Well, at least you have an interesting <laughs> skill to show them. <laughs> After months of practice with the eight gay warlocks who dictate the rules of fashion, I think I'm ready for a sofa that says I have style, but I like to be comfortable. <laughs> that that is a good way to. Uh, it, I mean, it fits. Yeah, <laughs> like it fits super well. <laughs> <I> think, wow. <laughs> the eight gay After, warlocks will teach you of your feng shui. <laughs> After months of practice with Rush Limbaugh's soft, shitty body, I think I'm finally ready for a passionate Latino lover. <laughs> Some practice. <laughs> After months of practice with the blood of Christ, I think I'm finally ready for the devil himself. Damn. Damn. <laughs> wow. That's a hell of a combination there. I can't decide between Rush Limbaugh's soft, shitty body or the eight gay warlocks who dictate the rules of fashion. So, like, practicing with them, does that, does that make you a bi-curious apprentice or something? Perhaps. Maybe I just won't learn about fashion. I don't know yet. <laughs> the funnier one was Rush Limbaugh's soft, shitty body, so that's the one that wins. Uh, Give me that. Again. He's, Damn it. He's, he's gonna win this one again. Well, they're his game. It's his game. Well, that's true. <laughs> we should just call it I win. <laughs> the class field trip was completely ruined by blank. Oh man, I've been waiting for this card. <laughs> but now I don't have the cards I need for it. Ah! I will accept Gogurt as a <laughs> This is an appropriate answer. Alright, so on our. National History Museum trip to the exhibit of dysentery. The uh, field trip was completely ruined by object permanence. <laughs> that wall's really fucking there. <laughs> when the bus fucking hit it going 85. <laughs> the bus driver hadn't really, like, you know, gotten that shit down. <laughs> yeah, that wall's gonna move, I'm sure of it. <laughs> That tree's not really there. The class field trip was completely ruined by the boners of the elderly. As most things would be. <laughs> Damn, Viagra. So, would they be hard or soft? Both uh, at the same time. Uh, I, I suppose it depends on if they took their boner medication or not. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of the scene from Boy Scouts Guide to the Apocalypse. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That fucking scene with the old man in the window? Yes. <laughs> Why was he pressing his fried eggs hanging from a nail on the window? No, 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 no. He was a zombie, and this dude almost fell out onto like hit the uh, like the picket fence, and he was holding on by something, and he saw it was this old like zombie's dick, and it like tears in his hand. Well, that's something that didn't need to be explained in detail. Well, then you wouldn't understand. Yeah. The class field trip was completely ruined by injecting speed into one arm and horse tranquilizer into the other. <laughs> that's how they cured dysentery of, back of in the day. All of them or just some of them? <laughs> I'm thinking it was the teacher. <laughs> and what? Or the bus driver. In fact, what did, what did you say <laughs> would probably happen Like if you did that in real life? Oh. Uh, Probably certain organs would liquefy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, and class field trip was completely ruined by anal fissures like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> well, that would probably go with the uh, boners of the elderly. <laughs> the dysentery? Does that mean he has one of those rings on his seat, you know? <laughs> I think I'm going to go with boners. Boners yeah. of the elderly. <laughs> there we go. Finally, Finally a card for daddy. All right. And now it is my turn to draw one of these cards. And it is. And today's soup is cream of blank. <laughs> Some young guy? <laughs> oh. No, it's like I've gotten two cards so far. Sounds like Fats just pulled the perfect card. But it's too late now. It smells of liquefied beans in here. And today's soup is cream of holding down a child and farting all over him. But in cream is form. Is <laughs> You don't want to know. Uh, he just <laughs> fart on the child until he liquefies. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you shot liquid out onto his face at some point. And like the chef walked in and just scraped it off like a spoon. <laughs> And today's soup is cream of the south. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially just like liquefied poverty and racism and grits. <laughs> Always grits. You can't go wrong with grits. Yeehaw. It's like we, we live in South Texas, but we don't live in the south. <laughs> it's a completely different beast. That If you're thinking about the deep south, that's like Louisiana to like... Arkansas, yeah. Georgia. It's like, you know, the deep south is actually north of us. Yeah. We're the dirty south. Where you know? We're in northern Mexico, essentially. Yeah. Today's soup is cream of a middle-aged man on roller skates. <laughs> so it's either his cream or, like, they just threw him into a fucking giant blender and put it on liquefy. <laughs> either way. But I'd imagine the skates would have fucked up the blades on that blender, though. But mm mm mm, this is gonna be tasty. Well, I'm pretty sure you know they cut the skates off. You know, today's soup is cream of the secret formula of the ultimate female satisfaction. <laughs> wow, <laughs> there's a cream for that. Where can I buy that shit? Um, I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. that would, like, out of all of those, that would probably be the only one that I'd be willing to try. <laughs> Alright, Fats wins that round. Toss, it is your toin. My toin? Your toin. 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 Toy key. What's a girl's best friend? <laughs> the guy that never gets laid by her, really. You've been so friend zoned. I wish I could find the guy just like you. I am a guy just like me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> You're so funny. This is why you've been. This is why all of your boyfriends leave you. Because they're not like me. I was gonna say, because she's, you know, a rank ass bitch. She doesn't know how to wash her armpits. Okay. Or she wow. just tries to, you know, hobble them all the time. Do I like bacon. The, I, I like beans and bacon. Yeah. This one would have been What better. about nachos? I like nachos. Mm, nachos. I, once had, I once had these beans that had, like, bacon and jalapenos put in them, and I'm not sure what kind of seasoning they did, but, man, those beans were good. They made me feel better about life. <laughs> Do they still sell them? <laughs> No. <laughs> Where'd you get them at? I was working at a halfway house and they cooked them up. <laughs> that was probably someone's secret recipe. You should have, like, kidnapped the man, put him in your trunk, and, like, you know, they forced put- him at knife point to tell you how to make them. They just brought you in and washed that pot for a couple of years. <laughs> That's all it was. <laughs> it's all the accumulated flavors, like, you know, <laughs> metastasizing at the bottom of the pot. <laughs> hey, if that's how it works, I will fucking eat those beans <laughs> every day. So, what's a girl's best friend? It is maximal insertion. There you go. (laughs) Actually makes pretty much sense. Pac-Man uncontrollably guzzling cum. Well, she doesn't have to do it if he is. (laughs) (laughs) She just keeps him in her purse like whenever the guy asks for him. Classic undertones. 
I don't get that one. Neither do I. <laughs> Classes undertones, it just means like, you know, mm. like holding yourself above others. Yeah. It... Oh, sorry, Andrew, I thought about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Not Roland really. the farter, flatulous to the king. What? <laughs> Roland, Roland the, farter. the farter, flatulous to the king. Wow, that's one I've never seen before. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say the maximal insertion. That's me. <laughs> when you go like dick deep, balls deep, and like you know, try to fit your legs in there too. That's actually a great name <laughs> for a band. Balls deep. <laughs> All right. It's your turn. Balls. Guns up. Deep. Dick. Balls. Dick. Balls. Dick. Balls. Oh, what am I doing? I have no deep. idea. Just become a shit show now. <laughs> blank would be woefully incomplete without blank. Woefully. That's what I said. Woefully. I said wolf. Remember? But I understand. I didn't mean to not do it that way. I'm just I'm just trying to get you to remember. Okay? Okay. So I'm super So is it bottom right? one first or or what? Because, I mean... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just leave it this way. Bottoms first. You sure? Yes. Because, I mean, you read mine backwards last time. I got one, but still. Too. Balls. Dude. Balls. Matt, balls. Dude. Uh, uh, all this balls deep would be... <laughs> Wolf Lane complete without Maximals. Maximals. <laughs> <laughs> Maximals, roll out. <laughs> If you read it Morgan wrong, Freeman's voice would be woefully incomplete without seeing Grandma naked. <laughs> really, that just sounds yeah. bad. That sounds good either way. And that's when everything changed. <laughs> I can yeah. smell you. <laughs> Jim was a simple man. <laughs> he liked to grow tomatoes in his garden. <laughs> But one day that all changed for him. <laughs> Tomatoes were never the same. Explosions would be woefully incomplete without all this blood. That makes sense, though. Not quite funny, but it makes sense. It makes sense. I didn't say it was funny. Sudden poop <laughs> explosion <laughs> disease would be woefully incomplete without some douchebag or douche with the acoustic guitar. So you're just like emptying ass into a porta potty, and some guy's so, out there with a guitar. So well, you're just emptying <laughs> ass into like you know his like like his open guitar case where he's expecting tips. <laughs> so we're talking. This about, is what I think of your music. <laughs> is, we're talking about Nickelback again because he's only talking about eating <laughs> the quesadilla. acoustic ni- <laughs> Nickelback. <laughs> MTV Unplugged presents Nickelback, and some guy just. Filling the case. <laughs> Medieval times dinner and tournament would be woefully incomplete without sexual being. <laughs> oh. Their ratings were going down, so they had to find a way to draw on the crowds. It was either the guy. It was either that or the guy who really fucking hates Nickelback. <laughs> Who's sexual king? Right here. <laughs> That one goes. I thought to that would have been you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I was the guitar. That was between those two. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was between those two. All right, two. shorts. It's your turn. Well then, let's do the do with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew. Blank. Don't you just love how our upstairs, upstairs neighbors just like you know crinkle their feet? With their crinkly bones to go with their it crinkly could be worse. faces. They, have like three year olds running they do sometimes. The they do. Oh, really? The three year olds have like... crinkly face too. <laughs> They're crinkly feet. I'm sure okay. they got crinkly faces. Do the do with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew, the basic suffering that pervades all of existence. <laughs> Okay, emo what color kid. is it? Black. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bottle of ink. <laughs> Carbonated. Now it's like a purple. 
Like a very like it's like almost. Oh, they already black. have pitch black, which is purple. Do the do with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for a Mountain Dew taking a man's eyes and balls out and putting his eyes where his balls go. And his balls into his eye. Hole. All of that, but chicken like chicken dinner. All of that, but like you know, fucking made into an actual flavor that you can taste. <laughs> that whole experience. <laughs> Do the do with our most it's extreme simple, Rick. <laughs> with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for an ass. Get ready for Mountain Dew and ass disaster. <laughs> it's just like they're holding empty bottles under, like you know, a fucking bad, like you know, concert porta potty. Wait, 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 wait! It gets worse. It gets worse, everybody. Do the do with our most extreme flavor yet. Get ready for Mountain Dew a break. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, they got to do something with all of them. <laughs> they just <laughs> go around hospitals, collect them up, blend them up, and bottle them in your Mountain Dew. Oh. They just add a bunch of caffeine and carbonation. I, 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 these two, I, they're okay, but it's not as good as taking him a man's eyes and balls out and putting him where his eyes, putting his eyes where his. Is that you? Nope, it is I, angry. <laughs> well, I wasn't. He wasn't. Well, now I just gotta choose the other one. <laughs> it was the other one. The other one, my other favorite, was the basic suffering that pervades all of existence. He cheated! <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> that sounds Actually, so I childish. do prefer that one over, mainly just because the... Uh, but just because of how long it was, and then the, the J, then Angry's um, comment of, and they just made that into a flavor. <laughs> and I'm just imagining it's not. Fats here, Fats here bringing up the simple Rick thing. <laughs> like, you know, like they got one of the Ricks, made him have to experience that, and then, like, took that memory and, and made it into a flavor that presides in all of our simple well, Ricks. I, I, my first thought was uh, Clive Barker. Clive Barker's The Hellbound Heart, which I've started reading today. You've just started reading that? Yeah, I started reading it. I'm already halfway through. I like it was that like. Considering like how long your uh, folks the have marker. had the book, I thought you would have read Move that years ago. Move the bookmarker. <laughs> you know what? I, I've read this thing several times. It's not a bad book. No. I wish the the movies were more like the book, but well, there's talk about them doing a reboot. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna be closer to the book. Except for one thing, it's not a book. No, that <laughs> that they're saying that. Uh, well, what's the, the dude? Who's the dude that came back? I don't that know. That uncle, uncle, what's Uncle name? Frank? Uncle Frank's actually gonna be Pinhead now. Hmm. Like the actor, or no, the character is gonna become Pinhead. Uh, I also heard that they were going to take like some of the elements from Scarlet Gossipals and use it to not only like reboot it, but in the franchise. So, so well, they're doing tumbling exercises up there. That's what it always sounds, sounds like. But see, it's the just, thing just, is, just, just, it's just, just, they don't ever name him. He's, they just call him the Hell Priest in the books. Yeah. Yeah, Clyde Barker actually hates that he got called Pinhead and that it stuck. <laughs> I think they should they should focus more on the engineer. I think what they should do is you know make Pinhead sound like he's actually described in the book, which is very high pitched. No, I was gonna say you know remake Last Dragon with Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson, Jackson has shown up. Shown up. Am I the prettiest? <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking for Leroy, motherfucker. <laughs> I love that movie. I love it simply because it's so oh. <laughs> so bad and so good. All right, Toss, what you got for us? It's your, your turn. turn. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> what you hey, Yeah, short when I'm last, so it's your turn. Oh. Stop taking that horse trick, Eliza. All right. And the speed. <laughs> what would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? I was wondering what was taking so long. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so... Too what would Grandma find disturbing at our oddly charming? Indescribable loneliness. <laughs> Sometimes she enjoys the quiet. <laughs> 
Oh, Grandma, I'll find disturbing yet oddly charming. Slapping a racist old lady. <laughs> Would she that. be doing the slapping or getting slapped? Both. I imagine that she's doing the slapping. <laughs> is she well, slapping herself? Is, she's getting smacked. Because, you know, the indescribable loneliness. There you go. Why well, don't you visit anymore? Because you're old and you're racist. Oh. Peeing into a girl's butt to make a baby. Winner, what? winner, chicken dinner. Miley Cyrus at 55. Oh. <laughs> no. Would that make her the old lady? Are they switching roles? I think it's Miley Cyrus at 55 who's uh, attempting to make the, the weird baby. <laughs> I imagine the physics of like a Isn't chick trying to do that to another chick being Isn't a little bit more pregnant? complicated. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go with slapping a racist old lady. Aww. <laughs> that means that I get the card. <laughs> Does that mean you actually care, Fats? What? <laughs> that you would enjoy seeing an old lady slap a racist old lady? I think it would be funny to watch two old ladies that, having a slap yeah, that, fight. That would, really would be awesome. <laughs> that would, you know. They're like in the come one, come go, all, we're charging start, 10 cents ahead. Starts to slap, and then they start picking up their walkers and beating each other with it, chucking hummels across the They're room. This, one at this side of the room, one at that <laughs> side of the room. How long will it take till they actually get to each other? I do like the idea of, like, you know, a bag full of hummels being used as a fucking maze. <laughs> That's how we take care of shit on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Angry, it's your turn. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see here. Do not fuck with me. I am literally blank right now. It doesn't go, but it'll go. It not always be like that, but sometime it do. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Are, are, are you going to try? Oh, no. Uh, this card I just got. Mm. 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 Would have made this a lot more interesting. Do not fuck with me. I am literally a defective condom right now. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Like if you keep screwing around, I'm going to end up getting a bit of cum on you? <laughs> Maybe. Or you get some herpes. <laughs> and right like the you? person that you're dealing with gets herpes. <laughs> Do not fuck with me. I am literally a gassy antelope right now. You just... All right. Do not fuck with me. I am literally Keanu Reeves right now. That used to mean nothing, but after the fucking John Wick movies, now it means a whole lot of something. Actually, it was after the Matrix, but okay, whatever. Well, he needed to use, like, his fucking... The one Matrix powers for that shit. Yeah, that's true. Is like in, in John Wick, he just fucks you up. <laughs> don't look at his dog funny. Do not fuck with me. I am literally an inability to form meaningful relationships right now. And how is that different from any other day? I gotta go with Keanu Reeves on that one. And that one goes to Gonzo. Finally, after... Actually, I don't know why you're saying finally. I still haven't gotten how many you got? How many you Four. got? Six. All of them. <laughs> Just picks up a, a stack. Four. Right, I got four as well. So I'm not that far. So that's pretty balanced. Yeah. No, no, it isn't. I yeah, it that. is. I said pretty <laughs> balanced. That's still that's still. Yeah, my time least. or your time? Yeah, my time. I don't want to do this one. Why? Okay. <laughs> it's a two foot. Okay. You don't have Pull to. If you don't want to. Okay. Oh yeah, that one. That one's pretty basic. That one's also stupid. There's just not a whole lot to it. What gets better with age? You take this. You take it now. Take the green pill. Which pill did you guys take? I ha- I've had a year-long erection from that blue pill. <laughs> wow. I got. I don't get any good ones. You should play Gogurt. I don't even have that one. <laughs> What well, gets better with age? Mm. Oh, what gets better with really, age? Really, it doesn't. <laughs> the basic suffering naked. that pervades all existence. <laughs> what gets better with age? Maximal insertion. 
Because your body loses its, <laughs> its like natural tightness. <laughs> what gets better with age? <laughs> Say it. You're a bastard who ever put this one. Child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you cannot tell me that like if you had kids, you wouldn't be like, you know, bouncing up and down in your car, driving home from work, just unable to contain your enthusiasm for the thought of beating your children when you get home. I have a special room for that. I call it the happy, happy room. Yeah. <laughs> I happy, call it happy the joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, 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 joy. You idiot! I love that they originally wanted to get Burl Ives to do all the songs that that they got Stinky Weasel Teats to do. They tried to get Burl Ives for that. I, w- <clears throat> I would pay all the money in the world for like to hear that done by Burl Ives. Next one. So what gets better with age is fisting. <laughs> Makes sense. Compared to the first guy, that one's kind of. Or as I get older, you it's get It's kind more of room. G-rating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what gets better with age? Pictures of boobs. Until you get to a certain age, and then one. like, uh, then it kind of degrades over time. But well, still, pictures of boobs. I think it's like. <laughs> Like you're getting older and you're staying, being able to look at fresh pictures of boobs. Yeah. I'm thinking more so, of like the so pictures. So didn't uh, Matthew McConaughey say it the best? You know what I like about them high school girls? They get older, I get the same age, or I stay the same. What? <laughs> Thank you for butchering that one beyond no all reason. No shit. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> And Matthew, again, Matthew McConaughey it. after three all rights. All right, all right, all right. There Matthew McConaughey go. after the severe head trauma. <laughs> you know the one thing I like about high school girls: pudding. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> you are an adult. I don't want to be. <laughs> I'm the youngest. <laughs> I, I will throw a dinosaur at you. <laughs> Just to prove I'm a four-year-old. <laughs> anyway, so what's the last one? If you can recover from that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that uh, one really uh, got you. <laughs> I knew I should have played a different card. <laughs> <laughs> what's it? Why? <laughs> With the idea of like Matthew McConaughey suffering that amount of like like brain trauma, that like that's the best he can do in terms of formulating a well, coherent. Come on. He got arrested for playing bongos naked, so it couldn't be any worse off. <laughs> oh god! I don't know why that made me laugh that much. It wasn't that funny either. I, I think it was, like, so lighthearted compared to all the other ones. Like, we started off with child abuse, then went to fisting. And, and then, then pudding. Went to boobs. No, pictures of boobs. And then... Pudding. <laughs> okay, one last card. What, what gets better with age? Ripping into a man's chest and pulling out his still-beating heart. Kalima! Kalima! <laughs> so, uh... Child abuse wins. Of course, the youngest one in the group would come up. Well, he's the one that said, "Say." I knew it was his card. Once he said, "Just say." When when, when, when (laughs) fisting is a tame answer. (laughs) No, I I, I said, "Take it. Just take it." It sounds like you've heard that too many times. (laughs) (laughs) No answer. Wow. (laughs) That one hit too close to home. In more ways than one. <laughs> What's with that cheesy smile? <laughs> this is not cheesy. This is full of pain. <laughs> Bro, take it! Take it! Just take it! Okay. Mm. Ready? As much as we can be. Look at Brad's... He's like... He, he wants to laugh, but he's like... Okay. Oh. <laughs> James is a lonely boy. 
But when he discovered a secret door in his attic, he meets a new ma- a magical new friend, Blank. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna... Child abuse! <laughs> <laughs> I think this this one I remember at wrong time. Bottom one first or, or second? It's just one. one car <laughs> <laughs> Buzz Killington right. with his top hat and monocle. <laughs> James is a lonely boy, but when he discovers a secret door in his attic and meets a magical new friend, Child Protective Service. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that shit's too real. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That goes side to side with child abuse. <laughs> well, technically, that, that Andrew you can says act- that you, that's neglect, so child services work. <laughs> I love this one fucking. I, I think I might have said this on a recording before, but I love this one picture that the, that someone photoshopped, where it's like the child snatcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but like he's got like a bunch of kids locked up <laughs> in like his fucking child capturing wagon. But on the side of the wagon, it has the Child Protective Services, like, (laughs) monogram on it. (laughs) So he's actually, like, saving them from abusive households. James is a lonely boy. But when he discovers a secret door in his attic, he meets a magical new friend. Your mom's vagina. (laughs) Wow. Which leads to him later on finding the new magical friend, Child Protective Services. Exactly. <laughs> There's something illegal going on here. <laughs> James is a lonely boy, but when he discovers a secret door in his in his attic, he meets a magical new friend. Three dicks at the same time. Oh! That one definitely leads to Child Protective Services. <laughs> Imagining like a hydra with penises for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's already Japanese art of that somewhere on Hentai Foundry. <laughs> uh, sure there is. <laughs> we did talk about the dragon with dick breath. <laughs> <laughs> with dick breath. Yeah. yeah, that's a conversation we'll have to talk about later on when we talk about de- role playing games again. <laughs> James is a lonely boy. But when he discovers a secret door in his attic, he meets a magical new friend, Andre the Giant's enormous leathery scrotum. Like, did he just walk into that? (laughs) It's just there. Hi, James. I want to be your friend. (laughs) Would you like a peanut? (laughs) I keep them in here. (laughs) What the fuck, dude? Okay, so... (laughs) <laughs> These are way too fucking hard to choose. These are all fucking boss cards. But, if I have to pick one, it's Andre Giant's enormous leathery scrotum. I knew you'd like Man, that Man, France one. has been sitting on that card for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Short, it's your turn. The healing process began when I joined a support group for victims of child abuse. <laughs> no. And then that's when child Oh, service. this one would have been so much better. Damn it. And then child services got called again. The healing process They're began busy tonight. when I joined a support group for victims of the human body. <laughs> the healing that's a process. lot of fucking people in that support group. The, human, the healing process began when I joined a support group victims of all you can eat shrimp for four ninety nine. <laughs> ah, the food poisoning was so bad that they had to form a support group. <laughs> the healing process just began vomiting all over the floor. <laughs> the healing process began when I joined a support group for victims of puberty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see people legitimately needing a support group for that. Sure. The healing process began when I joined a support group for victims of blood farts. Ooh. Oh. This feels like a bit of a throwaway round. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> and he considers your submission a throwaway. I don't know which one is his, so. 
Who is all you can eat shrimp for? That was me. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I, I thought like puberty it. was going to be a little bit too real. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that one's just kind of... Eh? Oh. Fate loves giving me this card. <laughs> And the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana Struggles with Blank, for the first time. Oh. Oh, boy. That's never good. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Child abuse. Wait, what was the card? No, for her, it wouldn't be the first time, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Not with her, Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Another good one that would have been perfect for that one. All right. So. You, do you too? <laughs> It'd have been better. Oh, fuck. We all fucked up on this <laughs> one. We all picked, we all drew our card late. In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with an Etsy steampunk strap-on for the first time. Like having to take it or like trying to figure That's out how to make it work? That's probably the first time. That's definitely not the first time that card's been used against you. I can imagine that's been complicated. In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with auto-cannibalism for the first time. <laughs> Struggling oh. is right. <laughs> well, like, she can just watch that one Treehouse of Horror episode of The Simpsons where Homer, like, ate himself to death as, like, a how-to guy. <laughs> In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with pretty, pretty princess dress-up board game for the first time. What, is it too complicated for? <laughs> I imagine. There's, like, rules. <laughs> In the new Disney Channel original movie, Hannah Montana struggles with the wonders of the Orient for the first time. Ah, so, opium dens. So, <laughs> so she got taken to a Chinese buffet? <laughs> Uh, let's go with the Etsy Steampunk Strap-On. Yes! <laughs> Been sitting on that car for a while waiting. It was almost, <laughs> it was almost auto-cannibalism. Damn it. That would be me. Alright, my toy, my toy. Let's see. Come to Dubai, where you can relax in our world-famous spas, experience the nightlife, or simply enjoy blank by the poolside. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using, like, a South African accent on that, that one. Was South African? Uh, it was African something. Alright, that's a one. That's a two. A one, two, a three. A three. Cheating ass, Al. <laughs> Good luck catching Alright, come to Dubai where you can relax in a world famous spas, experience the night flight for simply enjoy pedophiles by the bull side. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your age, you either enjoy them or they enjoy you. Probably a little bit of both. <laughs> come to Dubai where you can relax in a world famous spas, experience oh, the night flight. The wee, the wee little kids, they look like leprechauns. <laughs> 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 or, you, or you can enjoy our famous spas, experience a knife life, or simply enjoy an ink squirting pussy by the poolside. <laughs> like it's an artificial one they just have there for the guests. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like built into like the poolside, or I um, imagine it's like do they have I, ima I, I imagine it's some prostitute from Thailand who just sits by the pool and you know, <laughs> squids the fucking poolside. <laughs> Uh, come to Dubai where you can relax in our world famous spas, experience the nightlife, or simply enjoy Neil Diamond's greatest hits by the poolside. I am sure there is like plenty of fucking like poolsides where they play Neil Diamond that you don't have to go to Dubai for. Though that's like probably the realest one. <laughs> come to Dubai where you can relax in our world famous spas, experience the nightlife, or simply enjoy a, a magic hippie love cloud by the poolside. Okay. Um, I gotta go with pedophiles. That one was too funny. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That one goes to Gonzo. <laughs> well, I'm, I look like one. Might as well. <laughs> well, you said it. I didn't. <laughs> All right, Tosh, your turn. To prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day-Lewis immersed himself in the world of. 
<laughs> it sounds so sincere. <laughs> <laughs> To prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day-Lewis immersed himself in the world of a bowl of gourds. Bowl? <laughs> a bowl of gourds. Oh, gourds. I thought you said a bowl of birds. I'm like... Yes, yeah, a bowl of birds. <laughs> he immersed himself in the Just world of... Just with those pumpkins. <laughs> Blackface. <laughs> oh. What, is they doing a remake of that movie, The Entertainer? Bamboozled. He immersed himself in the world of basically birds, but geese. <laughs> geese. Geese. He immersed himself in the world of the miracle of childbirth. Oof. Wow. He waits for the baby to come out, then he just shoves his face up in there. <laughs> so did it take him like nine months for it all? <laughs> we're not turn we're not turning this into like an unbirthing fetish thing, okay? <laughs> I had to go with blackface. Yeah. Man, Angry's just getting lots of cards here. I got one, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six cards. Fats, how many you got? Four. Still? Did you win one? Maybe. Toss, what about you? Uh, four. Oh, I'm sorry, I got six. Ah. I got four. I got one. Which is better than zero. All right, Gonzo, your turn. Ah, one one ting ting. And he must have got the ting ting. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting ting. One one ting bang. Next time you insult my religion, at least do it right. Damn. <laughs> That's a religion? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I was just saying, you know. After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought blank to the people of Haiti. Sean Penn instantly went. Oh. <laughs> Better one? Way yeah, I've, I've got a bunch of crappy cards right now, so I'm having to struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I got two that would be really good, but... Um, yeah, I'm deciding which one's the best. Here, I'll use this uh, one because like, I, I, I was the other one I can use in another situation. This one, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, that was both of Gord's last round. <laughs> After the earthquake, Champagne brought... A sweet spaceship to the people of Haiti. It's like it's not going to help you deal with your food and like electricity and healthcare problem, but it's a sweet spaceship. You can't say no to that. It sounds something more like Elon Musk would do. <laughs> no, he would just like send. He would just like send a car out into space. Either that or the flamethrowers. <laughs> I want one of those. After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought a dollop of sour cream. <laughs> A single dollop. I could bring you like enough food to keep you guys alive, but here, have a dollop of a condiment. Do a dollop, Daisy. Anything more is just asking too much. Well, you know, it was, it was, it was about to expire. He had to get rid of that dollop somehow. <laughs> After the earthquake, Sean Penn brought. A turd. <laughs> <laughs> what, to just show his disdain? <laughs> well, this is what I think of your fucking problems. <laughs> <laughs> there, deal with that. Bye. Hot and fresh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> nice. I was thinking he has like a cooler. He's like, okay, who's ready? And he opens up and pulls out just like a single turd. It just like, here you fucking go. He just tosses that at Chuck. And runs back to his fucking private jet. And puts a, yeah, a dog of Daisy on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> Adds him a rusty trombone. <laughs> wah, wah. After the earthquake, Sean brought important news about Taylor Swift to the people. <laughs> I didn't bring you anything like physical or helpful, but hey, you Taylor need to know Swift's about that. new music video. <laughs> If we all had internet or like electricity, that would mean something. <laughs> that poor cat. Oh, it looks. That's like going. That's like you know, like go like flying halfway around the world to support like people suffering from like a major disaster, and saying I've come here to give you my emotional support. 
Well, guess what? My emotional support ain't gonna, like, you know, dig my family out of this collapsed building. <laughs> All right, who is turd? That goes to toss. I was sour cream. <laughs> that was a close second. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty close. <laughs> All right, short. Go for it. Help me, doctor. I've got blank in my butt. Oh, no. Jesus turd. Christ. <laughs> Even I think that one's a bit <laughs> too you fucked know what? up for you to be charged. This one. <laughs> Is this revenge for child abuse? <laughs> well, I'm probably, uh, if it's as bad as child abuse was for him, uh, <laughs> I might have to leave the game. Okay, good. I finally drew one that wouldn't be better than the one card I just used. Oh. Which I can't say the same for Gonzo according to that expression. Fuck. Help me, doctor. I've got cybernetic enhancements in my butt. Turbo turd. <laughs> Seriously. It, weaponizing it's like, it's like your flywheels. shit. It's like flywheels. It's like flywheels so you can just like... Bend over and aim at someone and just rockets out. Uh, it's like, you know, it's I, I imagine that it's got like the uh, the the flubbo bubs that you <clears> see at the car wash, so that after you squeeze the turd out, they, you know they <laughs> so spinning weird. brushes. It's like it's cool being a cyborg, but like paying for it, like you know, really is a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. But dumb tish. Help me, doctor! I've got the Harlem Globetrotters in my butt. Wow! <laughs> All of them. All at once, or are they doing a train? Like the past and present. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I gotta, You're getting Curly Jones in there. <laughs> you gotta dig up these old corpses and put them in there too. <laughs> and after the and after the living teams are done, I'm pretty sure there'll be plenty of room for the dead ones. Help me, Doctor. I've got George Clooney's musk in my butt. <laughs> I guess he like left a little bit of himself there for you to remember him by. <laughs> George Clooney, I can see him diddling the children. Wow. Help me, Doctor. I've got <laughs> Giant sperm from outer space in my butt. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a well, after the Harlem Globetrotters are done, I'm sure there's plenty of room for them, despite the fact that they're giant. <laughs> I think the giant sperm one. <laughs> of course, that's the one uh, he picked. I'm just, I'm just imagining like somebody, you know, bent over. From like all the harm of Gobbitrotter abuse, and they're just like so worn out that the giant sperm falling from the space just lands in there. <laughs> Doesn't even but hit the sides, <laughs> just like it's an easy way for them to go. <laughs> Don't forget the cybernetic enhancements, just spread it over. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The socialist governments of Scandinavia have declared that access to blink is a basic human right. Giant sperm from outer space? <laughs> Possibly. What was the card? The socialist government of Scandinavia have declared that access to blank is a basic human right. Aww. <laughs> I got a card that makes more sense. It might be better. We've been having that issue most of the game. <laughs> oh, I've just been getting shitty cards. The socialist government of Scandinavia have declared that access to the ooze is a basic human right. Should be. <laughs> Now, if it's like the same ooze from like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that'd be fucking awesome. Socialist governments of uh, Scandinavia have declared that access to vigorous jazz hands is a basic human right. <laughs> Some socialist governments make it mandatory. <laughs> the socialist governments of Scandinavia have declared access to hot cheese is a basic human right. <laughs> Hell yeah! Not I edible cheese, that. but like hot cheese. Like cheese far too hot for human consumption. Cheese is always edible, no matter what. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the socialist government of Scandinavia have declared access to strong female characters as a basic human right. <laughs> That's a socialist government, all right. <laughs> I've got to go with hot cheese. Toss. Toss. And Toss is on a roll. <laughs> How many cards you got now, Toss? So for the last three that I just got, those were throwaways. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. How many have you got right now? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven exactly. 
You count good. <laughs> Let me count mine. One. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> Why did it take longer for you to count than me? <laughs> <laughs> because he's, you know, he, he doesn't do the think good. <laughs> Whose turn is it again? Uh, it's mine. I'm just waiting for uh, Gonzo to get out of the toiletries. You hit me and I'll straight up monkey stomp the shit out of you. <laughs> you got seven also? No, I only got six. I got six. What's that one? All right, now that Gonzo's got back. Four. The next card is, what am I doing after this? <laughs> That didn't take you long. Because <laughs> now I got a shitty mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, when anger comes home tonight after this card game, <laughs> probably a lot of yelling. <laughs> what am I doing after this? Uh, the Make a Wish Foundation. Like, uh, the whole foundation? Like, like the employees? Or, or. You're, you know, you're working for them. You're not the employees wishing. for Make-A-Wish. <laughs> I just show up as like, you know, hey, kid, I'm here to see you. He's like, you're not John Cena. No, but he actually has a life, so you get me instead. You think he's got time to waste on some dying-ass kid like you? You're not even going to be alive by the time he gets here on the, off the plane. Shut up, kid. I'm going to go take you to a, to a titty bar and get some titties on your face. <laughs> Every kid deserves to have that luxury before he dies. <laughs> Let's see, what am I doing after this? Coat hanger abortions. Man, that if oh. I had that kind of money. Dude. <laughs> if I had the kind of money, like, you know, that those people pull doing that kind of work, I would not be in the financial situation I am now. Really? <laughs> Dude, like we're we're in South Texas, man. Like you know, they make premium money because <laughs> that's a that's a high in demand but like low supply. I was uh, working at a Taco Bell, and this one woman that was working there stole the uh, drop bag, which is all the money we've made for the day, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so she could go have an abortion. <laughs> it was uh, three thousand dollars, and the manager had to pay it. Oh no. <laughs> I was oh, like, is the manager married? No, he, he was single, but... Uh, three it, grand's three grand. That's a lot of money. I don't have three grand in the bank. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Yeah, he uh, he said something to the effect of, like, murder was on the menu if he ever saw her again. Of course, <laughs> she never came back after doing that. <laughs> I'm, I was like, well, hope, if she's lucky, her <laughs> she'll have enough organs left that she'll be able to pay off the three grand without running out of the important organs. Let's see. What am I doing after this? My manservant, Claude. <laughs> You're doing your manservant, Claude, after this. Well, if I had one. But you would. If you had <laughs> Actually, no. If I could afford a manservant, I'd probably have much higher standards. Other than Claude. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have to resort he, to, he, like, he, you he, know, he, the... He would go with Raul. No. Yes. For $50, Raul will give you a knight you can never forget. For 25 you could forget. But you won't want to. <laughs> I'd probably just, like, fucking go to Vegas. <laughs> the same effect, really. I just realized that's a giant face when it's upside down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, what am I doing after this? Getting all offended. Yeah. Well, <laughs> after all this, right. it makes sense. You're getting offended about the Make, the make a Wish of Foundation. I think I was doing more of the offending on that one. <laughs> all right. Uh, I gotta go with the coat hanger abortions. Oh. All right. <laughs> that was you, really? Yeah. <laughs> good times, good times. I, I figured going vile was the way to go. <laughs> Try to be nice as it worked. <laughs> well, like I said, man, they make good money. <laughs> the only vile card I had was child abuse. It worked out good for me. All right, Toss, your turn. Now in bookstores, the audacity 
of Blank by Barack Obama. I feel this my, mine may be a bit real. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would have been better. So, now in bookstores, The Audacity of Santa Claus by Barack Obama. <laughs> I don't like kids having free things, unless it's health care. Or cold. That you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can't afford it, we'll take your tax return. Well, no, you now actually have to pay the <laughs> which can be a lot more than your tax return. Now in bookstores, The Audacity of Penis Breath by Barack Obama. It, like having to deal with it or his personal experience of? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> From dating Michelle, he must know that from uh, experience. He Ow. must get it a lot. Yeah, he gets penis breath off of her. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> she now definitely wears the pants in that family. <laughs> now in bookstores, the audacity of doing the right thing by Barack Obama. <laughs> I sure as hell don't like doing that. <laughs> You're right, that was true enough. <laughs> now in bookstores, the audacity of poor people by Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, that's it. That sounds more like something Donald Trump would write, to be perfectly fucking honest. <laughs> poor people wins. That's me! <laughs> Finally! Oh. I've got two now. I feel better already! They voted me in the office, now they want me to do shit for them. I'm not having it. <laughs> <laughs> what, just because I had campaign promises? <laughs> yeah, poor people would think I'm actually going to work. <laughs> Make them do it. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for... Blank. <laughs> I don't know if I... Did I put the right one? Nope. Okay, I did. Yes, no, maybe so. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Salut. The fuck? I don't speak jank ass uh, croissant. That's Spanish way. Th- whatever. Jank ass. <laughs> croissant. croissant? What the fuck? Oh, Frog no, speak. <laughs> My friend. It's goes- what it's called. <laughs> Look it up in the dictionary. I have a friend who lives in Ohio now, and she, uh, like, I, I, I was <coughs> practicing my Spanish. She said, I'll speak jank-ass taco. And wow. She said, and then she Bitch said, better be saying that from Ohio. <laughs> jank-ass taco. Well, I was working at uh, one of the Taco Bells. Um, like, a lot of people there, they had this habit of speaking half English and half Spanish. Tex-Mex, I've heard of it. And, and uh, <laughs> it, it would irritate the hell out of me. And, uh, particularly when they were calling potatoes papas, because papa means daddy, <laughs> not potatoes. <laughs> Throw my daddy in the fry later. <laughs> and then this, one of my coworkers asked me to drop the papas, and I just looked at him and I was like, no se hablo los beaner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> Racist much? <laughs> I was back then. Uh, I've chilled out since then. Um. I, I have recovered from my bad opinions. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts. Prepare for no clothes on, penis, and vagina. That's that's an awesome flight. <laughs> Welcome to the Nile High Club. <laughs> it's mandatory, motherfuckers. <laughs> if not, turn around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for Gwyneth Paltrow's opinions. Oh, yeah, I think you'd God. have to fasten the seatbelt. And the problem is, like, you're up like 10,000 feet in the air. There's no escaping from that unless you want to blow yourself out of the emergency hatch, which I think some people might try. <laughs> there, this is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for. The size of my penis. Wow. <laughs> I have you all up here in an enclosed confinement. Now you're going to have to deal with this right wow. here, right now. Or else I'm crashing this plane into a fucking mountain. <laughs> Who's the first to bend over? <laughs> now there's more than enough to go around. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for free ice cream, yo. Oh, that's an awesome no fucking flight. <laughs> Sweet. It's like between the like you know the enforced mile high club or the free ice cream. I don't know which one to choose. 
I am going with free ice cream, yo. Who is that? Me! Yay! Another one for short. Finally! I'm starting to get them again. Alright, short, your turn. In return for my in in return for my soul, the devil promised me blank, but all I got was blank. What was it? In return for my soul, the devil promised me blank, but all I got was blank. Ah. Okay. Okay. You have a talent for getting two first. I am reading them, <clears throat> bottom first, top second. Okie dokie. That's the way it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> would you pull two? That would have been perfect. It would have been delicious. <laughs> Just what? like that free ice cream, yo. Why does everything have to be food with you? <laughs> I'm kidding. In return for my soul, <laughs> Adamus, me, the devil promised me my sex life, but all I got was tiny nipples. <laughs> Maybe you're just not using them effectively to be able to get a sex life. If you whipped them out in public more, maybe you'd get a bit more fish on that hook. In return for my soul, the devil promised me a team of lawyers, but all I got was the violation of our most basic human rights. Really? So a team of lawyers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the, the kind of, he, you got what you asked for. They just weren't working for you. They were yeah. working for the other person. <laughs> In return for my soul, the devil promised me being rich, but all I got was fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> you will think you're rich, but then again, like, you know, what you think doesn't really have any bearings on reality anymore after what happened. In return for my soul, the devil promised me dropping a chandelier on your enemy's head, on your enemies and riding the rope up, but all I got was boogers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really got fucked on that deal. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds Who's fetal fun. alcohol syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> Another one for Fats. And oh. on that note, Fats, your turn to draw. I don't feel like drawing right now. Your turn to sketch? Tell me again, why won't you let me pee on you? <laughs> what? Tell me again, why won't you let me pee on you? God, who fucking wrote that one in? All right. Tell me again, why won't you let me pee on you? Dick Cheney. <laughs> like what, he's your first and only? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me again, why won't you let me pee on you? An uninterrupted history of imperialism and exploitation. Because it's uninterrupted and it takes fucking forever. <laughs> it literally, it's thousands of years long. Tell me again, why won't you let me pee on you? The Care Bear Stare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that's like the long lost fucking Care Bear movie. <laughs> Care Bears versus like, you know, inappropriate sexual acts committed in the privacy of homes. <laughs> Golden showers. <laughs> Tell me again, why won't you let me pee on you? Sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Who's Care Bear Stare? Right here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's almost Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> they just released that movie Vice, and they're just throwing all the awards at it right now. Probably because everyone hates Dick Cheney and loves something to like, you know, remind them of that. <laughs> now, could you imagine if he actually had become the president? Well, we'd be, well, we couldn't be worse off than we are now. Well, we would have been where we are now, except back then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. This and God, I always get this one. This one's Cosmo. Spice up your sex life by bringing blank into the bedroom. Dick Cheney. <laughs> John Penn. Dick Cheney shows up and he shoots you with a shotgun. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I missed. Ah. Uh, I was aiming for the pheasant that was somehow there. <laughs> there's just like a like a pheasant. Like a, I don't know what noises that make. And that happened not too far from here. It was like in Kingsville or something. Yeah. Or the King Ranch. It was in King Ranch. All right. And this one's Cosmo. Spice up your sex life by bringing RoboCop into the bedroom. Some assembly required. <laughs> Dude, the worst parts are like when you have to see him, like in the some assembly required parts. 
<laughs> Didn't they have one where you could <laughs> like pop cactus on his back? Where you could what? Like they had like a thing, like you know those old school cap guns with the. Oh the yeah, I think people? my friend had no. My friend had a different one where it had like a thing where you push on his back and his eyes light up. There's that one too. See, in this month's Cosmo, hmm. spice up your sex life by bringing new bile slave boys into the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to spice up someone's sex life. <laughs> Might not be yours. <laughs> and this one's Cosmo. Spice up your sex life by bringing the mixing of the races <laughs> into the bedroom. <laughs> I think that goes well with the new bottle of Slave Boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this one's Cosmo. Spice up your sex life by bringing my machete into the bedroom. <laughs> well, that's definitely going to spice it up, but maybe not the way you want. <laughs> Calm down, Jason. <laughs> you know what? Oh, that's perfect. That's so fucking perfect. <laughs> you know, Jason is trusty machete. Friday the thirteenth, all up in here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> So, this is this is the look of unimpressed. <laughs> I think he's just tired of your shit. <laughs> well, it, it might be spicy because, like in uh, Jason X, there there's one girl that you know comments. I bet he's hung like a moose. <laughs> I bet he's he's not, like a not, fucking zombie. Whatever not, he had no, hanging, probably mammoth. fell off. Or, 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 mammoth, yeah, mammoth, not always. moose. <laughs> I bet he's hung like a mammoth, and then proceeds to make out with her boyfriend right beside the frozen, like, desecrated <laughs> corpse. Hey, dude, when you're in the future, you don't know what they're into. I gotta go with the new ball slave boys. They're not my cup of tea, but I'm pretty sure they're somebody's. Of course that's Fats. Why do you always get that card? <laughs> Because he likes Nubile Slave Boys. No. Maybe. I thought it was going to be Robocop giving her the prime directive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they made this to honor him. <laughs> I was Robocop. I, I, was, I, was, I was hoping. I had my fingers crossed. And he got no, I mean, you should have gotten that one with one of his. <laughs> All right, Toss. I'm pretty sure I'm high right now because I'm absolutely mesmerized by... <laughs> uh, fits with the theme. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm high right now because I'm absolutely me mesmerized by sharks with legs. Well, You'd you... have to be high. <laughs> hey. They move so fast. <laughs> it's like sand sharks, but, you know, they don't burrow into the sand. They just run at you and scream. <laughs> There's actually uh, a Steve Benchley movie. It's like a hammerhead with legs killing people in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? I forget. I, I'll have to look it up. Dude, like, give it like eight legs and have it like move around like on a like on its fucking body. Like it moves like it's swimming, but instead it just has fucking human hands and shit. Just runs so along the ground. So there's an animal like that. Street sharks? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, like I guess said like eight legs. There's Just an like, anime like that. Though. Oh, shark plus has eight tentacles. <laughs> no, it has to have like human arms. Shark to push. It just kind of scuttles around on its on the ground, just like fucking running at you, and it can run faster than any human ever could. <laughs> fucking chasing down. Usain yeah, what's Bolt? his name? Yeah, Usain Bolt we can fucking outrun him. <laughs> But Usain Bolt runs pretty fast, so like you know, it's just taking bits of his bits of him. <laughs> Gets a little bit of a shoulder, takes a finger, get takes off a chunk of his calf. Pulls the shorts down like the copper tone girl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm high right now because I'm absolutely mesmerized by the passage of time. <laughs> I can see time. I am so fucking tripping balls right now. Dude. Really it's five movie. minutes later than it was five minutes ago. Bullshit. Oh, oh, fucking hell, you say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Time I'm... is an illusion. The only time is party time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm high right now because I'm absolutely mesmerized by the placenta. <laughs> it looks so tasty. 
Which is sad because some people actually believe that. <laughs> it's sad because some people actually eat that. I know, that's what I mean. Yeah, I, I saw, actually, a lot of people eat the placenta. I, I saw this documentary where these two old ladies, they basically go around hospitals and they uh, they try to convince women to uh, eat the placenta. But if not, you know, they ask if they can have it and they grill them up like steaks. Some people should um, be, like, arrested for being criminally insane. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh... So, who likes eggs? I like eggs. I like eggs. I think everybody likes eggs. That's a chicken. It's different. <laughs> but still, the chicken's placenta. Well, it's more like a chicken's period, but... <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's, it's a oval. chicken's placenta. <laughs> Anyways, you like I'm... like chicken placenta? Not really. Like People eat their gizzards, it's just as bad. I eat it, but not really like I like it. So, I'm pretty sure I'm high right now because I'm absolutely mesmerized by 1,000 Slim Jims. That's some to be mesmerized. Like, even if you're high off of weed, man, like you, that's just like the promised land. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, get your macho man on. <laughs> Just a, oh, for- yeah. just a forest of Slim Jims to just fucking get lost in. And you eat your way to freedom. <laughs> so sharks with legs will win this one. <laughs> and that's mine. Give me. Awesome. I'm up that to eight. The placenta. Passage of time. Gonzo. Gonzo. Gonzo, boy. Look, stop being fat and get up and get it. <laughs> that's fat's job. We don't need redundancies in this. I've, I've broken all of the bones in your body. Man, this is bullshit. Fuck blank. That sounds actually sounds like something I would actually say. <laughs> I'm starting to get the cards I need. <laughs> oh, man. This would have been perfect. Oh, god damn it. Man, fuck this bullshit. Oh, oh sorry. Man, this is bullshit. Fuck... Child support payments. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's too Said real. by too many people. <laughs> wow, that's too fucking real right there. Man, this is bullshit. Fuck the clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd have a better sex life if like you actually did. <laughs> Man, this is bullshit. Fuck not contributing to society in any meaningful way. <laughs> So people that don't pay their taxes, yes, go on. <laughs> Man, this is bullshit. Fuck sports. I think that's why you're in the situation that you're in. <laughs> Having, you know, play child Who's support. Who's child support? <laughs> that one goes to Pat. <laughs> How many you got now? Pat. Uh, eh, fuck it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay, and the winner is Fats. All right, that's enough for now. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. We're going to continue playing uh, unrecorded. But in the meantime, for all of you that are, stay fat and angry. And we hope that you join us for another Cards Against Humanity recording later. So long, everyone. (laughs) 